Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today, we're gonna be going over Pyra and Mithra that are coming... No, I'm just kidding. It's the brand new Android girls, Ellarine and Feeny? Feeny? It's easier when I call them by the other by the other girls' names. I'm gonna be going over that, and also in general, the Dragalia... Gala Dragalia Remix. Um, so that's gonna be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like. Comment and tell me about how you feel, and are you summoning again... I'm on my own personal quest of getting back to my lost bounty, so I'm not summoning again until the 2.5 year anniversary. Um, but that's me. That's what I'm doing. Um, tell me if you're going to plan to do it. I'm sure a bunch of people are tempted, for sure. I'm almost tempted myself. And you can subscribe to me if you want some more uh, video stuff featuring me. So let's get into it. It is... Their names are Elrine and Fien? Finny? Finny? I can never pronounce these names. Um, I think that they said there was like an an accident, not an accident. There was a mistake on one of these, so I'm not gonna. I'm not sure if that Manicaster one is real, but Feeny is a uh, water axe, and the Gala b a banner unit that's actually on this banner is Galazena, who is probably be here because of the Lilith fight that's coming up. So here we have, here we have, we have Irene. Um. Let's go into her skill. Skill 1 is shareable, cost 4. This skill can only be used while the user has one or more Armnet Gauge charges. Consumes one charge of the Armnet Gauge. Deals damage to the target and nearby enemies and inflicts flesh burn. Aiming is possible during the attack. Uh, the damage is 181 times 9 hits. Hits 9 times. Fills automatically. When it's a shared skill, it's 9,452. And the special effects are flash burn, which lasts 21 seconds, triggers every 2.9 seconds, and damages 41.6. Um, and then we have armed 99 overclock. This skill can only be used while the user has one or more armnet gauge charges. Consumes one charge of the armnet gauge and activates overclock. Now I'm also positive that I'm not saying that word right either. Not overclocked, armnet. Um, during overclock, the user's standard attacks will be powered up and damages to flash burn enemies will be increased skill energy required fails automatically okay last 15 seconds enhanced standard attacks flash burn penetrate 15 percent does not stack co-op ability gauge acceleration 20 percent chain co-op ability light hp below 40 percent equals shield six and then her abilities are mana super capacitors 2 grants the user an armnet gauge that has two charges and gradually fills automatically the fill rate is faster than the fill rate provided by mana super capacitors 1 abilities that increase skill gauge fill rate will not affect this automatic increase and the user's attacks will not fill this gauge okay poison resistance 100 percent and emergency battery unit 2 when the user's hp drops 30 percent consumes the entire armnet gauge and restores hp to user based on the Mount consumed. Act activate. This ability will not activate again for 90 seconds. Okay. Um, she sounds pretty cool. That's basically how I feel about her. Um, let's see. What do they consider her? They consider her a defensive unit. So, I'm not sure. So, in my mind, the reason that she's included on this, and it's pretty obvious, is because of... One moment, let me quickly go to it. It's because of... No, not there. I think this will show it. No. This is something that's... But basically it's because of the rise of the Sinister Domain. This fight is coming up and it will require light and water units. So the way I'm kind of judging the way she does... You can see, here it is right here. It's hard to judge what she does because I feel like specifically what she does is supposed to counter Lilith, right? You don't include a unit that is like literally a light galley unit, a brand new light unit, a brand new water unit, if those units in theory aren't built kind of for the fight itself. Now obviously you can beat it with other units, but I think that's kind of what they're going for with her right now, is that um, she would be useful in specifically Lilith. I don't know if that's going to end up being true. I know she, that she looks very cute. And I would like her. And she sounds pretty cool to use based on what I've heard. But I'm not sure how she would fit on a... Or compare to regular light units. <laughs> to be honest, it's really weird because we're about to enter what is basically a new era for what is considered 
what could be considered a top tier light unit to have is what i'm trying to say here so i'll be very interested to see kind of it's kind of a wait and see approach basically at this point what i'm trying to say is if you really like her look if you like what this sounds like here it sounds like she'd be good good enough to just use but i actually don't fully know how good she's gonna end up being for all i know she could end up being absolutely terrible for lilith for some reason but who knows but let's move on to finny oh, i didn't read her her description let me read it real quick. An android built 1,000 years ago who defected the group known as Ex Machina. She is a high-performance command unit whose quick and accurate judgment served her well in her millennium-long duty to annihilate dragons. Okay. Does she go dragon then? I assume she has to. <laughs> now that I think about it, I didn't really... She hates dragons, turns into dragons. Those who fight dragons will turn into dragons. And now we have Feeny. An android built 1,000 years ago who defected the group known as Ex Machina, prone to direct confrontation, she feels and displays the whole gamut of huma humanoid emotions. Her commander, Elrene, means everything to her. Oh. Armed 72 fast break. This skill can only be used while the user has one or more Armnet Gauge, Ar gauge charges. Consumes one charge of the Armnet Gauge, deals damage to the enemies directly ahead, and dispels one buff from each target. Ooh, that sounds alright. Armed 24 Astro Burst. This skill can only be used while the user has one or more Armnet Gauge charges. Consumes the entire Armnet Gauge, deals damage to surrounding enemies, and if the skill hits enemies six or more times during the same combo, increase the Armnet Gauge fill rate. Movement is possible during the attack, and if the two charges are consumed, a more powerful version of this skill will be used. Damage 600 times four hits. Fills automatically, special effects. Last 30 seconds does not stack. After skill change, damage 450 times 8 hits. This must be the much stronger version. Last 30 seconds does not stack. Defense 15% is our co-op ability. Chain co-op ability is water HP 60% equals strength 6%. Her regular abilities are mana super capacitors 2, grants the user an armnet gauge that has 2 charges and gradually fills automatically. This fill rate is faster than the fill rate provided of mana super capacitors 1. Abilities and increased skill gauge fill rate will not affect this automatically. Okay, yeah. So same one as previously mentioned. Stun resistance 100% and turbo unit 2. Increases strength and defense by 20% and attack rate by 50% when the armament gauge has one or more charge. Hmm. Hmm. It kind of makes me wonder if you would want to use this ability then. If she's gonna get weaker when you lose Armnet Gauge charges. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Well, here's another thing. Similar to how I kind of feel about, um. Irene, Feeny is gonna be basically the same. Now, I should mention, water is gonna be completely different. Because the main meta in water has been for. since her release has been basically just use Karina. But it seems like the curse of Nihility and its effects, both bosses in the Rise of the Sinister Domain class debuting on 3.11, will use Curse of Nihility. I was able to say it and now I can't. Which removes certain buffs on adventures and nullifies their effects for a certain amount of time. What are buffs? Um, basically, here are the buffs affected by Curse of Nihility. Buffs that increase strength, buff that increase defense, buff that increase attack rate, buffs that increase critical rate, buffs that increase critical damage, skill damage, skill gauge over time, skill gauge fill rate, buffs that upgrade or alter skill effects, increase force strike damage, increase force strike charge rate, increase debuff success, increase movement speed, increase damage to enemies um, suffering certain conditions, buffs from Worm Prince abilities that regenerate HP, energy, inspiration, life shields. In the interest of preserving um, balance, um, certain buffs that are unique to particular adventurers or dragons that grant one or more of the above effects will be exempt from Curse and Nihility. Buffs applied to buff zones will be also removed as their effects nullified. So... You can kind of see where I'm going where, like, I don't know what works in here. Because it sounds like if you're not going to get buffs, the people who get personal buffs that don't get removed are clearly the best. Karina's entire shtick is built around getting just a buttload of buffs and just saying, Good night, everyone! And that's basically what she does. Um, 
So the fact that this water unit seems like not something that is conducive to most modern water units I kind of built around makes me feel like, again, she's someone that's going to be useful in the Rise of the Sinister Dominion Lilith fight. Um, other than that, she sounds pretty cool. I kind of like the sound of this move. I kind of <laughs> It's funny that it sounds like that she loses this ability when she loses that charge. But I don't know if she would end up losing this ability now that I think about it. It is... A, I don't know. We'll figure it out when we're actually playing it, I guess. Or let, I'll figure it out personally. And then finally we have Galazena. Galazena is Galazena, and she is perfectly good. She is very strong. She was the two-year anniversary unit. I would assume that she would be very useful for Rise of the Sinister Dominion. So if you don't have her, she's so very cute. Just look at her. Whoop. You're very cute, but look at her. Adorable. But yeah, those are the units coming. Um... It's going to be very interesting to see how hard, um, I can't believe I, I, I had the right thing and then I closed it, how hard Lilith's thing is going to be kind of built around. Because it seems likely that Lilith will, the units that you, in theory, the units that you would use with Lilith are different from the ones you would use with Agido, similar to the way the Agido units you use in Agido are different from the ones you would use in High Dragon Trials. A release, it was like that at the beginning, and then over time, shit changes. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll wait and see. But for now, I kind of like the looks of these units. I'm not going to be summoning, but they're not limited, so it's fine. I also already have Galazena, so if I were to pull another Galazena, I would be very sad. But that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. If you did, you can leave a like, tell me if you plan to summon, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Bye-bye.